Welcome back everyone, Thomas Medina here to recap some Chrome OS news for February 2020. Since I still don't have an actual sponsor, but I want to be a part of the cool club, I trawled through a bathroom cabinet to find something I could shamelessly promote. Here we are, Himalayan Chandra Neti Wash Plus. Deadly Neti Pot Boost. Soothes and moisturizes with aromic essential oils. I'll just put that up here. It's been a relatively slow month in Chrome OS land. It was the month of, oh, all those new Chromebooks we announced last month and version 80 that you're waiting for, don't worry, they're on the way. Still, there's plenty to talk about. Let's talk about it. So what's up with all those Chromebooks we were so excited about last month? Well, the bloody arrogant show-off good at everything Samsung Galaxy Chromebook is potentially arriving on April 6th and the similar but slightly less full of itself Asus C436 may have been pushed back to April 26th. This race to the finish line between two quality Chromebooks reminds me of 2017. Reminisce with me now, when the Samsung Chromebook Plus and the Asus C302 were both also announced in January at CES then took a few months to hit the shelves. History loves a repeat. But if you find unannounced Chromebooks more stimulating than these ones in the limelight, then you'll be pleased to hear that Chrome Unboxed have been up to their usual espionage, finding evidence of what's potentially another Samsung Chromebook coming this year, a handful of AMD powered Chromebooks, a strange smartphone sized Chrome OS device, and a Chromebook that might have a discrete GPU which would offer a nice boost in graphical power, but I've seen some criticism saying, more hot, beefy, noisy hardware is the last thing Chromebooks should be getting. I'm in two minds. I agree with that and want to see Chromebooks remain elegant and cloud reliant. But on the other hand, a Chromebook with a graphics card could still be a pretty cool thing for a lot of people. Chrome OS can run so many programs now that a GPU could provide the power needed to perform some operations that the cloud hasn't perfected yet. You know, gaming and video editing. Hey, ooh, speaking of gaming, bit of cloud gaming news for you gamers out there, you nerds and you geeks and you people who love being put in boxes and called vaguely condescending terms. NVIDIA GeForce Now is officially going to be coming to Chromebooks this year. This will allow you to stream games utilizing the power of the cloud to run graphically intense games on pretty much anything. It's perfect for Chromebooks. And yes, GeForce Now is pretty much the same thing as Google Stadia. It's got a leg up at the moment though, because it's got more games than Stadia does. With Microsoft and Amazon and everyone joining in too, the cloud gaming party is about to seriously heat up. This is all distant and vague and dreamy to me though, since none of these services are available here in Australia. So, how would I know anything? What are they like? Are they good? They good, are they? Cool. Some people have been thinking a lot more about Chromebooks than me this month, and let's see what kind of thoughts they've been having. Lots of Linux related stuff this week, and as smart asses in the YouTube comments like to point out often, Chrome OS basically is Linux. That's part of why it's great. So um, why shouldn't we talk about Linux a lot? Rad Robbie Payne made a slick video for Chrome Unboxed entitled, should you buy a Chromebook now, dot, 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 or wait? It's pretty self-explanatory and contains some sound advice for anyone who's in the market for a computer. Also at Chrome Unboxed, glamorous Gabriel Brangers has been sharing some very useful info. First, he's done what honestly I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone do before now, written a friendly and easy to follow guide on getting started with Crostini and Linux apps. If you're still afraid of the terminal, this is a great introduction. It's nothing to be afraid of, especially on Chrome OS where Linux is in a separate container to the rest of your very precious Chrome OS stuffs. Glamorous Gabriel also wrote a piece on flat packs. They're a great way to install certain Linux apps and in the case of popular programs like GIMP, Audacity and Scribus, you can get a more up-to-date version of the program by installing the flat pack as opposed to just your regular old apt get install. Glamorous Gabriel has also been tinkering with KDE on a Chromebook, which if you follow his guide will give you a graphical Linux desktop within Chrome OS, if that appeals to you. I mean, it's very cool, but its usefulness seems slight to me. 
but major props to Chrome Unboxed for trying these things. And just one more thing from Glamorous Gabriel. He's managed to install Linux video editor shortcut in Chrome OS. It's a fairly involved process, but very much doable. If you happen to be trying to get something else to run in Crostini, perhaps you're having some troubles, why not get in contact with Glamorous Gabriel yourself? Send him an email, let him do some tinkering for you. He says he's open to it, so go for it. Ask him how to run Crisis. Now, as we all know, I'm very in touch with the coding community. Uh, you've got Linux. Is that what you want? Is that, is that what you want? What do you want? And there are some articles this month that should appeal to anyone who's interested in coding on a Chromebook. Cool Kevin Toffel at aboutchromebooks.com has written about learning to code on a Chromebook. As he discusses in depth, Chromebooks can manage a lot of coding and have access to a wide range of useful applications through Crostini, but there are still some areas that you could hit a roadblock. And in another article this month, Cool Kevin has pointed out the existence of the Chrome OS Developer Toolbox, a nice little website designed to help you get started with coding on a Chromebook. Something I just know everything about, just like always. Coding. Oh, sh Basically, we're all just waiting for Chrome OS version 80 to hit stable, which it was supposed to do a couple weeks ago, but it seems to have been delayed by a couple of bugs, as can happen. When it does arrive any day now, it's expected to bring improved touchscreen navigation, maybe some sideloading of Android apps, and maybe update Crostini's platform from Debian 9 to Debian 10. Buster, though a couple of those things might be in version 81. We'll see. I love reading your comments, no matter how. I love reading your comments. Let's read some now. Rob Sadler says, Thomas, you are adorable. Um, can I say that? Well, I just did. Cheers, and both thumbs up. Rob's the cutest. Thanks, Rob. Andy Rogers says, Are your balls sponsored? That's, um, out of context. Zoltan Varadi says, my expectation was, oh, now this guy will talk like 10 minutes about the same thing everyone talks about. And then I started watching. You mate, you never disappoint me, smiley face. Well done and keep up the great work. Hugs, high fives or whatever suits. Zoltan, you ripper. Let's try to hug and high five at the same time. <laughs> This is all rather positive and self-aggrandizing so far. Let's balance it out with a negative comment. Warty Fingleblaster says, If you're a person who does nothing but surf the web and binge watch shows, then get a Chromebook. But if you have actual work to do, want to be able to use almost any program you want, manage your files without wanting to tear your hair out or any of the other things most people need a computer for then for the love of god get literally anything else okay can i get you all to keep me honest one thing i never want to do is take any of this too seriously shout out if i forget that one day well that'll do it Mm. Links to everything I have discussed are in the description below. March valiant, val, valiant, valiantly, 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 valiantly. March valiantly, March, March valiantly onwards into the third month of month, third third month of the. It's March. It's the third month. So March. That's why I'm saying March. March valiantly onwards into the third month of the year, which is March. That's why I said, was that Hitlerish? <clears throat> well, that'll do it. Links to everything I have discussed are in the description below. March valiantly onwards into the third month of the year. <sighs> Flawless.